Hi guys, this is Miss Ginter here again. Just wanted to post a, another short little video. This is kind of part two. Um, so this is just how to fill out your MLA template. If you're having problems finding the MLA template, please see the other video that talks about how to find the Unioda MLA template. So I'm gonna show you as if you already know uh, how to get there. So this is the document that we just had up. Uh, if you will remember, I said it's always a good idea to save this MLA template um, as a template and then just do file, make a copy. Uh, so let's pretend, you know, that we're going to file and make this a copy, like I said in the last video, as maybe an autobiography. So I would click OK. Um, but I'm just going to show you kind of how to fill this out. So your last name, okay? Um, pretty self-explanatory, but you're going to double click into the header. Do not change any of the font or anything. It should be in 12 point times New Roman all times. So I would put Ginter. Okay, also don't do anything. This one, <laughs> that one needs to be there. That's the page number. To get out of that, just double tap your name. Okay, so your name will go here. Please give me your first and your last name professor name or, you know, class name. Uh, so, you know, if this is for myself, that'd be kind of weird. <laughs> okay, uh, it's for Miss Ginter. The subject name. So let's say you're in my ELA 10. I'd also appreciate it if you put a dash and what section you are or the class period. So let's say that you are section one, which would be class period one, or you could put like that. We have the date. Notice it's inverted. Okay, so it's the number of whatever day it is. So right now is the 20th. It's not September yet, thank goodness. And then it is August 2020. The title of your report. Give me a nice title. Just don't just leave it as title. <laughs> uh, so maybe I'm doing an autobiography. And I want to give it a clever title. You no. Know? Like, intro adventures. As you grow to know me, you'll know that my family is crazy and I've had lots of things happen. Uh, again, this is a language that I don't know, uh, but that's all right. So you would just, you know, copy it. You could delete it. And then when you start typing, da da. -da. Um, yeah, my name isn't haha, -ha, but uh, you would keep typing. Um, and then that way you will make sure um, that your document stays in this format. And you'll notice that it has the indentations. You'll need to keep that. You'll also notice that this is double spaced. You can always check that in the line spacing. And for double, has proper punctuation, grammar. And something else really important is this work cited page for something in class that I'll be teaching you, uh, maybe in creative writing or uh, English for sophomores, so English to 10th grade. Um, this work cited is extremely important so that you don't get in trouble for plagiarism. So um, we will be learning how to do that. One of the resources that I listed for using the work cited can be found um, by going to OWL Purdue. So let me show you uh, real quick what that looks like. This is uh, one of my classes I have set up under classroom resource links. And this was that previous video that I just posted, MLA template, shows you how to access that. Uh, but I went ahead and linked the main OWL website and the MLA formatting and style. So if we click on that, this is fantastic website I used in college and when I taught last year. So I encourage you to use this. It shows you exactly how to cite. Don't type into this. This is a citation machine. This is not good. This is, that is a no go. Okay. Do not use that. But um, if you use the lovely OWL Purdue, 
Uh, you can formulate your own citations, tells you how to do it based on the type of source that you have, tells you where to put the information, tells you all of that stuff, and it's really, really handy. So let's say that I wanted to do um, for a work cited and I had a book, and then it's going to tell me exactly what that would look like. So um, that is just your quick little tutorial on how to fill out this Unyota MLA template. And I hope that you guys find that helpful. So I'm looking forward to a year with you guys. Have a great day.